<laughs> Are you resetting the um, gallon thing or? Yeah, yeah, you always oh. do that before you actually pull it up. To zero it? Okay, cool. And then this screws into the top yeah, here. Yeah, and it goes the other way. Oh, it's a left tighten. When you, with a lot of propane things are left tighten. Weird. There's French uh, on Ferraris, they have left tighten bolts too. I used to work at a Ferrari dealership as a tech. And the head will have a right tighten and then a left tighten and a right tighten. And they do that to keep it from uh, unscrewing. It's really weird. I had to go to Tacoma Screw to get a replacement screw because it was for an antique one and it had already rusted out. Wow. Like a 70s Ferrari. Now that's the purge valve that you're opening that allows the escaping gas, yeah. the, the head gas to get out. Right. About Perfect. That'd be excellent. They said the maximum in capacity is 4.7, but it's really tricky to fulfill them. It had the tank has to be really cold. And a lot of them have an automatic cutoff too. But we generally shut them off as soon as the fuel Spewing out. out right. It's for a small metal forge. Boy, it is a fuel gobbler. Only 250 a gallon. Wow. When transporting it, we use an attachment like this through the handle like that, and then anchored here so that the tank can't move and is impinged so that it doesn't fly around in the car for safety. Also, notice on the tank that this is purged. Some filling stations don't know how to purge the tanks and Doug at the Grange said they can only fill them if they're pre-purged. So make sure if you're buying one, if you want it to be able to be filled easily at most places, buy a tank that's been pre-purged. Here we can take a close look at the overpressure relief. The fill control valve right here. And then the input or output port with a rubber gasket made of brass. This is known as an OPD safety valve because of this uh, high pressure blow off here in the event of a, a tank overheating, which could cause a blevy or a boiling liquid vapor explosion, which is very dangerous. We see here, uh, they give you instructions on how to close by turning it clockwise or open it by turning it counterclockwise and the OPD safety valve designation. Also, there's a bunch of warnings uh, written on here that explain uh, in detail how to fill the bottle and what the best policies are.